Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. If you are a returning viewer, um, I am going to do something a little bit different today. A few days ago, I uploaded your mid-September soul um, connections and separation love reading. Today, um, we are going to look at your spirit animal and what guidance is coming in for you. And the energy looks really, really good. It is all about abundance. So we're, we're going to get a message from your spirit animal. Then we're going to look at the overall energy. We're going to look at your biggest blessing your biggest obstacle and then we're going to look to the future and i am going to use some tarot to just clarify some of these cards or get additional information um if you would like to book a private reading with me i will pin a comment down below you can be directed to my um, website awakenwithnancy.com when booking online please indicate in the notes if you'd like a phone Zoom, which is recordable, or a pre-recorded reading. If you'd like a pre-recorded, please indicate in the notes your sign if you're inquiring about a person, their name, their sign, and a brief description of what's going on between the two of you. It'll save me a lot of time and follow up. Um, so I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys, I've been going through a spiritual ascension and I've been led to really change up my readings. So if you like this reading, if this is something that you would like me to do going forward into the future, please let me know in the comments. And if you have ideas for readings, I'd love to hear those as well. Um, I want to bring you the type of content that you want. Um, as I go through this spiritual ascension, uh, you know, I, I was guided to do, to offer a new reading and I will be doing this generally on my channel in the next coming weeks. The reading is called Live in Alignment. It is on my website. And during this reading, we will look at your 3D reality versus your 5D truth. What is out alignment? What needs to bring you, what needs to happen? in order to bring you closer to wholeness, um, toward, more towards your authenticity. Um, so that, if you scroll down, it is the last reading that I have, and it is a one-hour reading, you guys. Okay. Um, one last thing, and then we'll get into the reading. There is a lovely client who owns a luxury apothecary in Hawaii, and it is... Um, Aloha Elixir, you guys. And he was so sweet. He sent me all these candles. This is the new moon candle. Um, there's like a millionaire candle, harmonious home, all kinds of stuff. He sent me like seven candles. And also he offers sanctuary sprays. This is the angel sanctuary spray. And he sent me this beautiful um, rose wrapped uh sage smudge stick. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Kiyoki. I appreciate it. You can check him out online at alohaelixir.com. I believe he's on Etsy as well. Okay, let's get into this reading, Scorpio. I'm excited because you guys know I'm a Scorpio too. And your spirit animal is the buffalo. And what this says is the abundant universe will provide. And you guys, I have been feeling this big time, and I hope that you have too. I have been receiving windfall after windfall. And, you know, my guides have told me that it is my time to receive. And so my mantra is, <clears throat> it is my time to receive. And I repeat that several times every day and then i'm just open to receiving whatever it is the universe wants to bring my way um this says buffalo spirit comes to you to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude and the extraordinary potential available to you when you adopt a mindset of abundance yeah this is you know if you have um, a scarcity mindset, which many, many people do, it's time to really look at that and do everything you can to release it. 
I have dealt with a scarcity mindset most of my life, but that is 95% gone. And, you know, I had a, a situation that came up um, and it was, you know, money that needed to go out. And I got a little bit nervous. And then I thought to myself, Nancy, that's your old life. Everything's fine. You have the money. It's no big deal. It's, you know, it was a large sum of money. But I had to remind myself that the universe is an abundant place. Um, I'm no longer living in that scarcity mindset. And I am open to receive. It is my time to receive. So you guys, this is a super, super important message for you. Be in a place of gratitude and be open. And the universe will bring in whatever you want. It's like magic, I'm telling you guys. Um, okay, the overall energy is the sweat lodge and this is an amazing amazing deck this is by colette baron reed and this is the mystical shaman oracle i absolutely love these cards so this is the overall energy the sweat raw i can't even speak the sweat lodge represents the womb of mother earth volcanic stones are heated in a fire outside then brought into the lodge and placed in the shallow hole in the center. Participants sit in complete darkness around the red hot stones to sweat away old habits and beliefs. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. And heal disease. When you return humbly to the womb of the mother, you are offered second chances. Yeah, you guys, this is all about being offered a second chance to live the life that you're truly, truly wanting, to live in alignment, to live in a place of abundance and gratitude and, um, you know, just being able to manifest everything that you're wanting. It's that belief in the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, that happily ever after. Yes, I can live abundantly and all of my dreams can come true. So this is beautiful. Um, this is a time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with ancient earth wisdom. You can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle. Observe what emerges and without judging it, invite it to bring you its gifts. You are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown. Do not worry that you will be consumed by the process. And the medicine, um, so it's the essence, the invitation, and the medicine. The medicine says life is offering you a second chance. Take it, since this chance may not come your way again for a while. Okay. That is some powerful, powerful energies. Let's get some tarot on this and see what wants to come through. Okay, so for some of you, this is going to be, um, you know, emotional. Okay, what I'm feeling, we've got the Knight of Swords. We've also got the Knight of Cups. And, you know, the swords are very, a very mental energy, um, very intellectual energy. The cups are um, very emotional and they're, uh, you know, they're related to intuition. So what I feel is going on for you is because these, these two knights are facing, really kind of facing away from each other. Um, what I feel, what's coming to me is there needs to be balance between your mental body and your emotional body. Um, it's time to, you know, if you get stuck in your thoughts and it keeps you from making decisions and taking action because the swords are about clarity and the knight of swords is about taking action. Okay. Fast action. Like, yeah. So if there is a disconnect, if you do get trapped in your thoughts, it is time to really balance out 
your mental body and your emotional body. Really tap into that intuition, okay? And that is going to help you. Um, spirit wants to connect with you and spirit wants to bring in the wisdom that you're needing. Spirit wants to help you heal and align you with the abundance that wants to come in for you. But it's important to, you know, release those um, belief systems, those, and, and that's, you know, those reside in our mental, in our, um, in our minds, these belief systems, in our unconscious, and it can block out intuition. So this is something that is needing to be released, and then the universe is going to give you a second chance to live a better, more abundant life. This is incredible. Now, the next card is your biggest blessing. This is material harvest, and this is the nine of pentacles. So this is essentially where you have um, the potential to obtain everything that you're wanting in life. This is about feeling whole, feeling confident. You have the bank account, the car. You do not have a scarcity mindset. You do not live from a place of fear or lack. No, you believe that everything that you deserve will show up on your doorstep. It doesn't mean it's magically going to happen. You have to take action. You have to set your intentions. You have to work for it, but it doesn't have to be super difficult. It doesn't have to be an uphill battle. Um, yeah, I mean, there. so there's two messages about abundance here. And so everything that you're wanting in the material world is waiting to come in for you. This is beautiful. And Scorpio, I know so many of you have been going through a difficult, difficult time for a while. So it it is looking up. Ooh, we've got the Ace of Swords. This is about making a breakthrough, you guys. This is about having clarity and, you know, it's the truth. It's, I see this as a spiritual truth. So what this is saying to me is that if you are dealing with a scarcity mindset, if you've been pessimistic, if you feel like nothing ever goes your way, that mindset can be changed. And the universe is going to respond in kind. You know, if if you keep, um, it's interesting. I, I took this workshop um, a couple of years ago. It's um, based on, it's an NLP, Neuro -ling Linguistic Programming Workshop. And it, it, it was called Dimensional Mind Approach. Our subconscious is always it's absorbing everything that's going on for us. So if we have conflicting thoughts, conflicting beliefs, it absorbs those and then it can't give us what we want. So for example, if we say to ourselves, um, wow, I wanted to buy a new car. Um, I'm going to buy a new car. And then we're thinking, oh, new cars are so expensive. I don't know if I can afford one. The universe, you know, we're in um, we're in conflict, and then the universe doesn't know what to give us. So it's really important to clear out those cobwebs and and release those belief systems that are keeping you stuck. Life wants to give you another chance. Life, spirit, the universe wants to bring in everything for you that you're dreaming of. And so this just tells me, oh, wow, you guys, this just tells me that you're going to make a breakthrough and clarifying. We've got the 10 of cups. So this is a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. The 10 of cups is like the ultimate emotional contentment. And so we've got pentacles, we've got swords, we've got cups, you guys, you can have it all. All of this, you know, beautiful, beautiful energy that you're wanting to bring into your life. All these happy times, this happily ever after. If you're wanting to get married and have a child, I just feel like this is very, very possible for you. There's a little bit of work to do, 
um, but it is very, very possible. Now, the next card is um, the challenge, okay? So this is an obstacle and this is empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And this is purple, so it's related to your brow chakra. This is the sixth chakra. And this is about your intuition and your wisdom, okay? Um, so, you know, we went over this in the beginning. It's really important to tap in and, you know, release any of these mental thoughts that have been holding you back. With this card, um, empathy, I am just feeling this may be related to the people in your life. Um, I feel that you need to have empathy with yourself as well. More, not empathy, but compassion. Um, have compassion with yourself and your previous self that wasn't, you know, living your best life. That was then, this is now. The universe wants to bring forth your dreams. So it's important to have an understanding of why you needed to go through all of that before you could get to this place of welcoming in abundance and all of your dreams. Um, and it's, you know, this is also, oh, Scorpio, you know, we can be a little bit judgy. We can be a little bit harsh. And so this is for me saying that it's important as you have this new chance in life, it's going to be really important for you to, um, what, what was the, I just lost my train of thought. For you to live through your unconditional love nature and just let people be who they are and not take things so personally. Okay. Um, okay. This could definitely be love related for you guys. I feel that it is. There are a lot of cups cards coming through. This is not a specific, um, specific love reading, but there could be a love situation in your life. Uh, it could be a struggle for you to bring love into your life or just the love that you're dreaming of. Um, because I do see that you're dreaming of the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, clarifying the empathy. So this is, yeah, this is important to just allow people to go on their own journeys and just understand that, you know, nobody knows really why nobody understands why we make the choices that we do unless they stand in our shoes and nobody can truly stand in our shoes okay clarifying we've got the ten of pentacles and the six of cups this is absolutely incredible energy you guys we're seeing the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles talk about abundance this is like the ultimate this is saying to me that you can achieve everything. You can truly have that fairy tale ending, that happily ever after, where you just feel like there's nothing, um, nothing more to bring into your life because you have it all. This is so exciting. With the Six of Cups, this is about reunion. It's about a soulmate. It's about nostalgia, looking back in time, um, longing to be with someone. It could be um, you wanting to have children or looking at your own childhood. But I do feel that this is co connected to a soulmate. With the Ten of Pentacles coming through, this is like the ultimate achievement in life. This is, you have absolutely everything that you've ever wanted. And the key to bringing this in, you guys, is really moving into a gentler, softer you, Mo opening up your heart, tearing down those walls that you've built up to protect you, and really being compassionate, empathetic with others in your life, and especially with your love partners. And then I just feel that the universe is going to respond and they're gonna line things up for you. This is absolutely amazing. Now, 
the final cards that we have are really interesting. Um, two of them came out and this is looking to the future. And um, we got the karmic trench. So for some of you, I feel that um, you are stuck in a karmic cycle and this is why the sweat lodge showed up. That you've got a second chance. You don't have to stay in this trench. You don't have to keep going. You don't have to stay on the merry-go-round. Um, this says, um, take action. Oh, geez, did I? Hold on, you guys. Where did this go? I am so sorry, bear with me just a second. There we go, four of scrolls, yeah. The seeds wait to be planted, yet he continues to dig deeper and deeper. There are other rows plowed and ready for planting, but they are ignored. This reveals a difficult pattern in your life, a pattern of self-defeating feelings, thoughts, and actions that you've brought forward from previous incarnations. You return to this life with the intention of breaking this karmic pattern, but you got pulled into the old thoughts and behaviors. Mm -hmm. This is about releasing those belief systems. You've been digging yourself deeper into a karmic trench that gets harder and harder to escape. I can relate to this. This pattern is not unknown to you. You recognize it in your relationships, in your jobs, and certainly in your beliefs, behaviors, and responses. It's time to take charge of your karma by altering the inner ideas, feelings, and patterns that cause you to make sabotaging choices. You may have been making really poor choices in love or in career. Perhaps you were chasing after the shiny objects. Um, the money, um, you know, the partner that looks good on paper, but doesn't bring in emotional fulfillment. Um, it's going to be different for, for each and every one of you. Um, with your, this says with your commitment though, making changes every day, you can dig yourself out. This doesn't have to be the way you live your life anymore because spirit wants to bring in a different experience for you. And we've also got the eight of forces. This is the lightning bolt. And <clears throat> this is a time of splitting apart, a time of loss, disappointment, or even a metaphorical death. That's very much Scorpio, you know, it reminds me of the death card and which is about dying and being reborn. It's about profound change. It's about releasing these things that you've outgrown. It's shedding your skin and so that you can rise from the ashes like the Phoenix. And, you know, this could be you needing to release a partnership, a career, whatever it is for you. Um, you know, this may seem very sudden or unexpected, but this is going to benefit you in the end and it is going to bring in a new beginning for you. So I want to get um, a couple final cards on this. So Scorpio, I would say that there is a very, very exciting new chapter that is wanting to come in for you. That is going to be everything you ever dreamed of. And, you know, I had an Akashic um, record reading a few months ago and the, my guides through the reader told me that within the next six to 12 months, I would be experiencing the grass uh, the grass is greener, <laughs> meaning I have a new beginning that's that's coming in for me that's going to be everything I've ever wanted. So it's time to leave this old life behind. Ooh, I like it. 
clarifying is the king of wands. This is leadership. This is moving in to self-mastery. The king of wands is a visionary. He knows what he wants for his life and he goes for it. He is highly respected and admired. He is charming. He's inspirational. He's spiritual. He's magnetic. This is incredible. So I do feel like you are going to be moving into a place of self-mastery Scorpio. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. We've got the 10 of pentacles for the second time in this reading. This is about support, but this is about achieving everything that you're wanting. So, um, wow. King of wands, 10 of pentacles. Let's get one final card for you. Okay, this is, um, it is what it is. Radical acceptance, engaging life on one's terms, observing circumstances and taking them at face value, recognizing and releasing resistance and denial. Wow. Okay. So this releasing energy keeps coming through and, um, you know, this is about looking at the world and how do you see it? Are you assuming that it is a place of lack or a place of abundance? It is all about a mindset and really focusing on your attention. So this is really, really just a repeating message. And it says, if you stay, step back with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Yeah, Scorpio, magic is coming in for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for joining me today. I would love to hear your comments. Um, sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.